right, y'all. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Domino7 here. Oh, I sit on my remote. Uh, uh, it's your boy Domino7 here. I'd like to welcome y'all to the Domino7 show, live location at my crib, okay? Well, today uh, I wanted to interview somebody, but unfortunately I, am, I, I ain't gonna have no guests today, okay? An empty studio, empty junky ass studio. Okay, I'll sit right here so y'all can see me see me better, okay? All right, so today, this is the Domino 7 speech episode, okay? So I'm going to try to uh, give y'all a speech and try not to stutter, you know? Uh, if y'all see my other videos, y'all know I stutter sometimes, you know? So have any of y'all seen my other videos? I, I hope y'all did because uh, sometimes my speech uh, is kind of whack, you know? Uh, talking too fast, stuttering and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm about to give a speech, okay? But first off, I'd like to start off with talking about Whitney Houston, okay? Uh, I was so heartbroken. The whole world was heartbroken when we lost Whitney Houston, you know? That really caught me by surprise. I got a phone call from my best friend when I, when I took a nap, if, if y'all can see the phone. I got a, I got a phone call from, from, from my best friend, Dwayne. Uh, called me when I was taking a nap in the bed there, you know? So uh, what happened was he called me. I said hello and what's up and stuff like that. Sometimes I answer, some, answer the phone and say what's up. Pardon my stuttering if I did, you know. So uh, what I did was this. I said what's up, bro. Uh, uh, he said he chilling and stuff like that. It, and then he asked me, have I heard about Whitney Houston? I said what happened? She died. I'm like, oh lord. I, I mean, I couldn't believe that, you know. I. I woke up from my bed, uh, uh, got on the computer to see if it was true, and yes, it was true, you know. They've been showing uh, her videos and everything all day, you know. And, and, and as y'all know, uh, I've done an episode earlier uh, at, as I was watching Whitney Houston's funeral service, you know. So, I don't really go to funerals. I don't go to funerals at all. I, I, I'm afraid of funerals, to be honest, though. So, uh, as y'all know, that uh, uh, hearing about people dying, that, that, that makes me so sad, you know. Because you know something, uh, I'm going to tell y'all more about that later on another segment, okay. And today I'm going to be talking about my friends and family, you know. I'm going to be mentioning people's names, you know, uh, everywhere I go, you know. Uh, mentioning people's names uh, uh, that appeared on my show and stuff like that even appeared on my canceled episodes, you know. I don't know who those people are no more, you know. Hmm. I'm, I guess those people was mad at me because they didn't see themselves on my show and because I didn't post it because of the memory card loss. But anyway, it, it's about Whitney Houston, you know. So, uh, that, that she is right there, you know, on, on the TV screen, you know. Yep, we all remembering Whitney Houston, you know. So... Uh, when she made that good comeback, I I was I was I was uh I was anxious to uh see what her song was, how it would have sound. So I saw it first on the Box Music Network, and then I saw her videos uh second on BET, then on MTV, and then VH1. Okay, so I don't recall when the first video I seen of Whitney Houston. You know, I I, I, I haven't she made a video called Saving All My Love. The the did she shot a video of that, I, I was wondering, you know? That's the song that, that made me cry, though. Kind of emotional. I, I was too young to uh, think of true love, though. <laughs> all right? So, after after all that all that singing and good music and stuff like that, I, I also liked that that song with Bobby Brown, there, There's Something in Common, you know? That's a lovely song. You know, Bobby Brown made the song good enough. I like that. But anyways, about Whitney Houston, not not about Bobby Brown or anybody else. I'll talk about. Oh, uh, uh, this song is on. Oh, look. Power ballad. I will always love you. Rewrote the record books, reigning supreme at oh. number one for fourteen weeks and selling over four million copies. Oh yeah. She worked on that song with her. All she right. So 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 anyway, uh, let me finish giving my speech. Uh, well, I, I, I was saying just to, uh, for, for, for y'all to see what I'm looking at, 
you know. I don't I don't recall when, when when that first came out because I because I seen a video of it on the box and on MTV, you know. Uh, I would talk about Michael Jackson. I'll talk about Michael Jackson on, on another episode, you know. I know some of y'all saying that was a that, that this is a bad speech, you know. But anyway, I, I gotta try my best on on what I'm saying, you know. So, Whitney Houston w w w was a beautiful singer. She had a pretty smile, pretty hair, everything, you know. Almost reminded me of Oprah, you know. So, anyway, I I've always watched Oprah, watched Whitney Houston and stuff like that, listen to her songs, you know. I like her song, It's Not Right But It's Okay, you know. I love that song so much, you know. So, all I want to say is I want to thank you for, for, for all the... All the good music you gave us, you know, you had my support from from the beginning to the end, okay? So I don't recall how old I was when I first heard you, you know? So, so that, uh, uh, God gave you a talent, and I got, and, and I said, God bless you, you know? And, and, and I was very supportive of, supportive of you, you know? But, uh, but, but I wish I could have uh, 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 bought your albums, you know, because uh, I, I love your kind of music, okay? So anyway, more took to the Domino Simmons speech, if I do it right. So your boy Domino Simmons will be right back, okay? All right.